Most people think their magnesium levels are fine because their blood test says so, but that really couldn't be further from the truth. You see, only 1% of your body's magnesium is actually in your blood. The other 99% is inside your bones, your muscles, and your cells. So when your body starts running low, it pulls magnesium from your tissues just to keep your blood levels stable. That's why your blood test can say normal while you're still very deficient. By the way, guys, my name is Gary Tirola, and I help people prevent chronic illness, reverse aging and lose body fat naturally if that is your goal then please don't forget to subscribe as i go deep into all areas of health every single week now how do you know you're magnesium deficient? It's actually very simple. If you deal with muscle cramps, twitching eyelids, anxiety, poor sleep, sugar cravings, or those painful nighttime Charlie horses, chances are your magnesium is low. Here's the thing. Even if you're eating clean, it's hard to get enough magnesium. You'd need five cups of almonds or five large handfuls of spinach or four full dark chocolate bars just to reach the daily minimum of 400 milligrams. But it gets worse. If you've got inflammation in your gut or eat a lot of processed food, your absorption tanks by up to 70%. Alcohol, caffeine, sugar, and even some medications also deplete magnesium fast. And don't ever think those cheap drugstore magnesium pills will fix it. Most of them are magnesium oxide, which gives you diarrhea and barely absorbs. Only about 3% actually gets into your body. What I recommend instead is magnesium glycinate. It absorbs up to 80%. It doesn't upset your stomach and it actually helps you sleep because of the glycine. Magnesium ultranate is also an excellent option as it's able to penetrate blood-brain barrier and it also helps feed your precious brain. Magnesium also plays a huge role in managing calcium. While calcium makes muscles contract, magnesium helps them to relax. Too much calcium without enough magnesium can lead to kidney stones, calcified arteries and even tight muscles. That's why magnesium is essential for things like preventing heart attacks and even stabilizing your heart rhythm. Now, Here's something you probably don't know. If you're struggling with migraines, chronic pain, fibromyalgia, or mood issues like depression and anxiety, your body probably needs more magnesium than usual. Even blood sugar issues and diabetes increase your magnesium needs dramatically. And here's why so many people are missing the mark. First, we used to get magnesium naturally from hard water, spring water, well water, but now most city water is softened or filtered, stripping out the magnesium and replacing it with sodium. Areas with softer water actually show a higher rate of heart disease. Secondly, vitamin D doesn't work properly without magnesium. Same goes for vitamin B1, which is crucial for managing stress and carb metabolism. You need magnesium for those nutrients to be effective. And thirdly, this one is probably the biggest one. Magnesium fuels your mitochondria. These tiny engines inside your cells produce ATP, your body's energy currency. They spin 200 to 400 times per second, but they can't do that without magnesium. So if you're feeling drained, fatigued, or burned out, it might not be your schedule. It could just be a missing mineral. Magnesium is one of those master keys. It helps regulate stress, supports energy, improves sleep, calms your nervous system, balances hormones, and it prevents some of the most common chronic issues I see every single day with my clients. And if you want to learn how to personalize your nutrition based on your actual unique biology and your DNA, I talk a lot about that here. So stick around. We go deep into the stuff. Hit subscribe and stay tuned for next week's deep dive into optimizing your health using extremely natural methods.